Now, the TMC is relying on some serious star power in the upcoming elections. The party has fielded close to 10 actors, singers and cricketers. Several of them have joined the TMC in just the last few weeks. Among those who will be contesting polls are uh, Joon Malaya from Madinipur, Sayantika Banerjee from Bankura, filmmaker Raj Chakravarti from Barakpur, actor Sayoni Ghosh has also been fielded from Asansol Dakshin, Singh Aditi Munshi from Rajarhat, Kaushani Mukherjee from Krishna, Krishna Nagar, in fact, Soham Chakravarti from Chandnipur. These are the new inductees who are now going to be fielded from these respective constituencies. Star power indeed. We're looking at the TMC inducting several star faces into the party, just like how even the BJP has done. And many of, the, uh, many of those who've joined the TMC have now got tickets. Let's take a listen. Mantha Banerjee, who spoke on the same. <laughs> I'm going to quickly cut across to Indraji joining us live with Sayoni Ghosh, one of the new inductees who's managed to get a ticket. Go on, Indraji. Well, Nabila, that's right. We are joined by one of the star contenders of the Trinamool Congress, Shani Ghosh, actor. She's just joined politics. Uh, she entered Trinamool Congress, and what a way to begin her career in politics because she has now got a ticket from the Trinamool Congress in this high-voltage fight uh, that's going to take place in 2021. Shani, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Mamta Banerjee announcing your name from Asansol Dakshin. Uh, it's a very, very big responsibility. You prepared for it? It is, it is. Thank you so much, Indro. And I, I'm, I'm absolutely overwhelmed because it was absolutely not expected. And the moment Didi called out my name, and in the beginning she didn't even call out my name, and then there were people like yeah, Shayuni. I was the one who was probing her. Okay, so you were doing that. So, and like Shayuni, Shayuni, and then she's like, yeah, yeah, and Shayuni is there. So, and then like, which seat, which seat? And finally uh, she said that our son sold Dakshin, and I was overwhelmed. I understand that it comes with a huge responsibility, and being, being an actor or like a celebrity per se, it makes it more difficult. Like, you know, there are certain notions about us yeah. that, you know, they're armchair politicians and they, they don't believe in grassroots work. So I think there's a lot of notion that we need to break and I'm, I'm up for it. I'm, I'm game. You know, what we've uh, often seen among celebrities uh, is that they do not really speak out about matters that actually affect the people around them. Uh, it seems like they live in a bubble. Uh, what is interesting about this election is that so many celebrities are choosing the sides, are choosing their camps in this, uh, in this battle, if we may call this. Uh, so what made you choose Trinamool Congress and Mamta Banerjee? Oh, I don't think there is an alternative to Mamta Banerjee in Bengal yet. You know, like if you see, if you look at a leader, I, I won't be able to choose any leader other than, other than Mamta Banerjee. And if you, uh, if you talk about being vocal and stuff, I have always been vocal like about issues, about social issues, about things that concern my fraternity, my industries. And I've also spoken against her at times, you know. But that is where, you know, her generosity lies, that she welcomed me into the party and uh, she said that, okay, look, come into the system and tell me. Tell me what's wrong, tell me what's going wrong, tell me what's happening. And have a, in, you, since you have an independent voice of your own, and you are, she, she loves youth, the concept of youth, like energy, like, you know, not that, that bubble. It's like bubbling energy. So I think that was one uh, reason why she thought that I would be a, a suitable candidate. And now that I, I have the responsibility on me, I, I hope I'll be able to sail through and live up to everybody's expectation. You know, you have had uh, certain very uh, uh, difficult, certain very uh, strong criticism to make as far as the BJP, uh, you know, party is concerned, the central government is concerned, and you had to face consequences. You, you've got, got FIRs against you. There's still these cases are pending against you. Uh, so it's going to be a difficult fight. Uh, but I think that that's all right. You know, like all I can say is that like a month back, I was sitting in my house and I was sipping my iced tea and I didn't know what to do and then started 
suddenly today I'm sitting with you and I haven't announced a candidate. So I think life uh, has its own course and there's a design. And if uh, I believe that you uh, God endows responsibility to those who have uh, the courage or the guts to carry it forward. And uh, I did have a very very difficult time. Like all of all of you know that uh, there were smear campaigns against me and uh, a lot of things. I would not like to go into the detail because I just want to talk positive right now. Uh, but I think that has that has instilled a lot of faith in me, a lot of strength in me, and I'm I'm a bit more seasoned than what I used to be. I need to ask you about this insider-outsider battle that's uh, that's uh, raging on in West Bengal because Mamta Banerjee herself today once again insisted that people of Bengal will rule Bengal, people who are here in Bengal and working for Bengal. When you see this barrage of central ministers coming in, the Prime Minister is going to do 20 rallies, we are told. Amit Shah is here uh, most often, JP Nadda. What do you have to t uh, you know say about this entire BJP leadership coming here and uh, you know campaigning against your leader? It's like a mirage, you know, like a distant mirage uh, sort of a thing. And when you understand that we, we were facing the pandemic, like all of us, and then there was Amphan. We were hit by Amphan and we didn't find any leader coming here. Yes, uh, Prime Minister did come, but that was like a one-hour helicopter ride. But then you understand that elections are here and they are coming here and they're uh, instilling hope in people, faith in people, promises. But, but then it doesn't work out because you need to be here. To, to cater to the needs of the people. So I think, and it is definitely a fight between one woman in that white sari and Hawaii chappal, and uh, you know, 22 union ministers and six chief ministers and like all of them. And they're all out and I've always said that Bengal is, Bengal is not a state alone, it's a sentiment. And people who come here from outside, who come here to stay, uh, deep down, they become Bengali too, you know, that's the beauty of Bengal. Mm -hmm. So we don't want uh, any sort of divisive uh, political stance we don't want Bengal to be divided uh, into pieces and it is it is a fight for unity it is a fight for uh, securing Bengal's founding vision of togetherness of harmony and peace and development which goes along with that all right so there you heard it uh, shiny Ghosh of course uh, gearing up for this uh, high voltage fight that's going to take place uh, in a few weeks from now in West Bengal back to you hi everyone Preeti Chaudhary here hope you like this video for latest news and analysis like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.